Hospital birth is the most common place where childbirth occurs in America and the cost is usually partially or completely covered by most insurance. Some families in America choose to have home births called out of hospital birth or give birth at a non-hospital birth center but professional care fees are rarely covered by major medical insurance and are not covered by most state-run insurance programs. Dwellers are trained birth support professionals and can provide prenatal education and childbirth support on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but do not provide medical care. Their services is not covered by insurance. Some dwellers offer sliding scale payment options. Search online for dwellers in your area. In some circumstances, before or during childbirth, the attending physician may state that a medical intervention like a caesarean, referred to as C-section, is necessary. This normally only happens when vaginal labor may bring unsafe risks to the birthing parent or baby. There are different reasons for C-sections. It can be before labor begins or during labor. Some parents do choose C-section. That is okay. Do not hesitate to ask both the benefits and negatives of C-section. It is a significant abdominal surgery and the recovery period can be long and painful. During hospital discharge after a C-section childbirth, the nurses provide discharge instructions that include how to care for the incision site and restrictions on postpartum person's movement, such as certain lifting, bending, and twisting positions. If the discharge instructions are not translated, it is okay to request an interpreter to read the instructions in details. Doctors usually explain the reasons why they are recommending C-sections, but in their rush to keep both baby and laboring parent healthy, this explanation may be hard to understand. Any urgent medical situation along with medicines, risk, and recovery time and care needs can be challenging to discuss. It is important to request that the medical team listen and respond to the patient's questions, provide explanations of options for progression of care, and obtain clear patient consent for any treatment or procedure. This may need to be expressed multiple times, especially if there is a shift change among the medical team members. During the pain and exhaustion of labor, it can be challenging to a woman to be the boss of her own labor experience. This one reason why thinking about writing, reviewing, and bringing a birth plan to the hospital can be a helpful step to maintaining voice, choice, clarity, and consent during labor and delivery. Templates and samples of birth plans are available online. Sharing the birth plan with the medical team along with parenting partner and birth attendants can be vital to maintaining a patient's right and preferences in a medical environment where they will be vulnerable.